Wow, watch all the pretty shoes. <laughs> you know, Christmas is a time when we all want to shop till we drop and spend, 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 right? But we have to make sure that we still have money left for January since we know January lasts six months and that we survive Christmas and make it through the rest of 2022, set the pace for next year. I'm Kalila Reynolds and it's time for another episode of Money Mondays JA. I'm going to give you your Christmas shopping survival guide. Money Mondays JA is brought to you by Proven Wealth. Visit provenwealth.com to speak to an investment advisor today and follow We Are Proven on social media. And Bulwark Insurance Agency. Looking for affordable insurance? Visit bulwarkja.com. Follow them on social media at official Bulwark JA. So before I give you tip number one, I want to remind you to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and of course, share with a friend. Also subscribe to my newsletter at kalilareynolds.com slash newsletter so you can get a transcript of this episode straight to your email inbox. Are you ready for tip number one? This should be obvious. It should be easy. I tell you every year around this time, the first thing you need to do to survive Christmas, not broke, is to set your budget. So make your shopping list make a list of all the people you need to buy for all the things you need to buy for the house for the family and for charity make that list and calculate how much it's gonna cost you now the other thing is that you need to find ways to boost your income many people when they're setting a budget forget that a budget actually has two parts there's income and there's expenditure what you earn and what you spend so people plan in very uh, detail what they're going to spend and how they're going to spend it. But you don't necessarily make plans, most of us, for our income. And there's so many ways that we can earn this Christmas season. A very good friend of mine said to me years ago, and I've always taken it to heart, Christmas is a time when everybody is buying, right? Everybody's shopping, everybody has money to spend. That is the time that you need to be selling something. So find something that you can sell, whether it's a product or a service, something from your imagination. Get the kids together and do a, a talent show. Get the entire community involved. Get your auntie to bring some cakes or some cookies or something and make it a whole production. And that doesn't cost you anything except your own creativity and your own time. So if you have a product or service that you can sell, if you make earrings, now is the time to sell them. If you want to launch a course, an online video course, like I'm about to do, now is the time to sell it. Check out my investors masterclass, my investing for beginners masterclass. The link is in the description box below. We'll come to that more later as well. So that is tip number two. Now, another trap that we often fall into at Christmas time is to whip out those credit cards, right? It's so easy, it's so convenient because you can buy now and just pay later. You just swipe it or tap it and you get to pay at another point in time. But don't forget that credit cards are among the highest percentage interest rates that you can pay on a loan. A credit card is a loan. Even though you're not paying now, you will pay later. The average credit card interest rate in Jamaica is 40% for zero. So if you're gonna use that credit card this Christmas, don't forget, only spend what you can afford to pay back in full before the due date, unless or otherwise you're gonna get stuck with that 40% interest rate that you have to start repaying pretty much immediately. Now the next tip related to this is about microloans. So you go to a microloan center and they offer you uh, these loans and they say there's no interest just fees just pay the fees and i've seen these but when you actually calculate the fees it really does amount to interest and the interest rates add up it's even more expensive than putting it on a credit card when you get a micro loan so we're talking about 50 60 70 80 i've even seen 100 percent interest on micro loans and the thing is that they don't tell you that this is actually the interest rate because they tell you oh just borrow this amount and repay this amount per week or per month and that way they disguise the amount of interest that you actually are paying so here's my next tip and it's related to loans debt borrowing credit cards take advantage of interest-free repayment periods 
So a lot of banks now are offering this new feature on credit cards where you can make big purchases like 30,000 Jamaican dollars and above and you have several months to repay interest free. All you have to do is contact them and make a repurchase or a repayment plan. So they give you, I think, like five months, maybe more or less. I don't remember exactly how, and it may vary depending on the bank. But you get several months in which to pay off that big purchase in installments without incurring interest. So make sure that you're disciplined enough, though, to follow through on that plan. So my next Christmas shopping tip is to hold yourself accountable for your spending, especially after those big shopping trips. So I mentioned budgeting earlier. You want to download a budgeting app such as Home Budget that you can use to track your spending. So after each big shopping trip, log everything that you spent and check that it aligned with what you had budgeted. And that way you can help to hold yourself accountable for the spending and ensure that you don't go over budget, which tends to happen almost every time. So there's always a sale every Christmas, right? But here's my next tip. Only buy items on sale if you had already planned to purchase those items. Otherwise, you're not actually saving any money. You're spending money that you didn't plan to save. So sale is a psychological thing. They make you feel like you're saving money because the item is marked down. And trust me, sometimes these items aren't really marked down. They actually mark it up before the sale and then mark it down after the sale. We know the tricks, but it's all a psychological impact. So they make you feel like you're saving money because you're not paying full price for the item, but you're spending money that you didn't plan to spend. So you're not saving anything at all. So here's my tip. Don't buy sale items unless you already planned to buy that item. So my last tip is to gift yourself or someone else investments. It's literally the gift that keeps on paying multiple times a year. It literally pays you dividends and it can do so for many, many years to come, building generational wealth. And if you don't know how to do it, then of course you can get my Investing for Beginners guide. It's a six part video course. It comes with a free ebook and several resources that you can use to track your investments. That's it for this episode of Money Mondays JA. I'm Kalila Runnels. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, and share with a friend if you found any useful information. Also subscribe to my newsletter at kalilorunnels.com slash newsletter. Let's get this money. Money Mondays JA was brought to you by Proven Wealth. Visit provenwealth.com to speak to an investment advisor today and follow We Are Proven on social media and Bulwark Insurance Agency. Looking for affordable insurance? Visit bulwarkja.com. Follow them on social media at officialbulwarkja.